Okay. Hi, hello, good morning, everybody, and this is Baskar watching Baskar Time. So, last class we're looking for an embedded system, and what is an embedded system, and uh, what is the language as what we are going to use in embedded system. Uh, then what? Uh, then what is the advantages and what are the constraints we need to consider before choosing on any long wages? So all things we discuss. And in this video, looking for what is an embedded C, okay, and uh, what is the data types? What we are going to use embedded C and how to use that one? Let's see on that. Then first question it is arises in our mind: What is an embedded system? Embedded system is nothing but an extension of your C program to on a certain level a group of C program which is called embedded C. Let's see on the definitions later. See, first we need to understand embedded C is one of the most popular and most commonly used programming language in the development of embedded system. So if you take an, any embedded system, so most commonly looking for C programming only, even though if it is having, so I already told in the last video, it will support for different, it will support for different architectures, a different programming language, it will be supported, but commonly looking for C. In come to on a Google, you just type embedded system, you can get the C code, it is C only, normally we are getting. Okay, before going to the details of embedded C, Okay, we need to understand what is a C programming language and the C programming language become a, so popular it is used in a wide range of applications. Now it is looking for a C programming in a wide range of application from normal embedded system to the supercomputer. So generally what we are going to use. Okay, now we need to understand what is the difference between my C programming and embedded C programming. See, nothing is different. Almost my C programming and embedded system it will be same. It is having same data types, same, same functions. Everything should be same. Then only difference it is where I'm going to use. What is a platform dependent or independent? That's very important thing here. Let's see. see that processor native development in nature, processor cross development in nature means we are going to use the C programming in the bunch of the compilation process, it translated for only for the hardware. But when come to here, it is for the same hardware, but it is come to a different hardware. So after compilation, easily we can generate a .exe file when come to the C programming, but come to embedded C programming, we'll come to the .hex file, easily we'll get that. Okay. And when come to C programming, it is independent of hardware architecture and it is a dependent of hardware architecture. Okay. Next, C programming used for desktop application, operating system, program control. Okay. Memories we are going to use. When come to embedded C, looking for RAM, ROM, input output peripherals, and embedded controller, we are going to use. Okay. C is a well structured, it's very important. C is a well structured and well defined and standardized general purpose programming language. But embedded C is, can be considered as a subset of conventional C languages. It is a subset of your conventional C language. Okay, so this is the difference between C programming and embedded C programs. Next, generally, how I'm going to define my embedded C programming language. So embedded C programming language, which is widely used in the development of embedded system is an extension of C program language. So it is just extension of your C programming language. It is embedded C. Then the embedded C programming language uses the same syntax and semantics and C programming language like uh, functions, declarations of data types, defining the variables, loops, functions, statements, everything are same of C programming only. It means there is no difference between embedded C and C, almost same thing only. Okay, next it is, what are the punctuations and operations what we are going to use in C, just revising that one. So here it is looking for semicolon for end of the statement, colon for the depending label, comma for the separation of element list, parenthesis for a state the end of the parameter list, lower brackets, we are going to use state and stop of the component statements, square brackets looking for a start and stop of array indexes, double quotings, double up, uh, quotings we are looking for start and stop of the string, and single quotings we are looking for start and stop of the character constants. What we are going to use, I think you know that one when come to C programming, let's revise this one. Next, these are all the operating operations what we are going to use. Just stop the video and we can see that. So equal assignment statement at address of at question mark a selection less than and equal um, ones complement addition plus minus for subtraction star for multiplication slash for division percentage for modulus. Okay, 
uh, and uh, ampersand for logical operation, cap for logical exclusive, and dot for use for the access for parameters like that. Similarly, less than and greater than. Just see that when these are all the operators, what we are going to use it in C easily, I can use it for embedded C also. Okay, when come to program, you can use that. Next, very, very important thing it is what are the data types we are going to use in embedded C? So, data types. What we are going to use mainly it is a character, integer, short, as well as long. We are going to use. Okay, then how? How? What is a signed integer? What is unsigned integers? Characters. Let's see on that. First, it is data type. It is char. C H A R. It is nothing but it is having a eight bit, a maximum of eight bit, and eight bit is nothing but one byte aligned. So here two things is there. One it is signed, another one it is unsigned. Signed ranges from minus one twenty eight to plus one twenty seven. Unsigned ranges from 0 to 255. 254 of 8 is nothing but 256. It will come. That's why I want to take on that. Okay. Next, when we come to a short, short is nothing but 16. 16 is nothing but half word. Half word is nothing but 2 byte. Okay. 2 or half word aligned. So when we come to here, ranges from so minus 32,768 to 32,767. So for it is for signed. Unsigned means 0 to 655. Five, three, five. It is nothing but 2 to the power of 16. The value will come out. Similarly, integer 32 bit. And here also, sign integer and unsigned integers we have. Similarly, long and signed long and unsigned long also it is 32 bit. What we are going to use. All are it is you know, nothing but 4 byte of information we are going to use. It is a word aligned and ranges from unsigned or ranges from 0 to 4, 4, 4294976. 295 approximately they are going to take on the values so we are going to on to minus 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 4 8 2 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 7 4 for sign numbers and 0 2 4 2 9 4 9 6 7 2 9 5 we are looking for the unsigned numbers okay keep in your mind character it is 8 bit and um, short it is nothing but 8 okay short it is nothing but 16 bit integer is nothing but 32 bit long is nothing but 32 bit and long long it will come next it will come to long long it will come for 64 bit what we are going to use and floating points it is a 32 bit is nothing but four word aligned so when come to 64 is nothing but eight byte eight bytes very important a double also it is 64 64 and long double is nothing but 64 and uh, w character it t w character and this for t t come w T instead of T will come to 16, nothing but 2 offered. Uh, 32 is nothing but 4, 4, nothing but 4 bytes. It will come word aligned. And all pointers, what we are going to use it is 32 bit. So, all the data types, what we are going to use. So, leave that numbers. Keep in your mind what are the data types, what we are going to use. Short, long, character, long, long, float, double, and long, double. So, and all pointers, what is the values? Okay, so all things we are going to use now C programming. Next, it is when come to the structure of my C programming, we have multiple comments uh, denoted by slash star, multiple cost star, slash, and single comment means double slash we can use, and uh, processor directives looking for ash include, okay, less than that out of less than greater than what we are going to use. Okay, this is uh, ash include what we are going to use. Ash define also we can use this one. So you already know this one, how you are going to use C programming. Let's revise this one. So today we're looking for along with this concept, then how to use in our key. For it is only for understanding purpose in Excel will not ask, but you should know how it is working in key, uh, my C program in key. So in order to get this one, just follow the procedure. Next class, I'll give the difference between the integer and character, how it is working in our key program. Okay, so just do the procedure. So if you have a key, just go to a project. First previous project, just close the project. Okay, so next go to project new microvision project. So, so we just create this one. Let's take on a test two. I'll give test two. Next it is save. Okay, next it is LPC1768. Select this one. Okay. Yes, yes, already is means if you S. Actually, get the C file. Next, if you want to get S file, so add existing files to the group. So, how to get this one? So, go to C drive. Under that one, you have a key. Just select. Under that one, you have a RM. 
under that one you have a starter under that one you have nxp nxp under that one you have lpc 17xx you just select and add close so normal procedure what we are going to use in the lab session for these cases for only for understanding purpose just see that just click opposite button here add new items to the group c file okay we are writing the c file can you give any name let's give a program one value don't give any extension just give it. already is there okay so i'll you add new item to the group c file program two two one i'll you just see add okay now it is added now we have to write the program so how to start my program c program see here just first you need to add the library so we not add this one just right click here insert ash include lpc 17xx.h just include next it is so i need to take the function so here it is two things how to take the functions so one it is int main another one it is void main then what is the difference between void main and int main you already know that void main it is not require a return type return type is zero but int main is nothing but so here when come to void main if i'm going to use means so nothing it is stored in your operating system okay there is no return type when come to int main something so my Our data, our data integers need to be stored in operating system. That's why in this program, looking for int main instead of void main. So, how to take this one? Int, int main. So, just open the brace. Okay. After that, you need to take a flower bracket, and you need to close. In between here, you need to write the program. For example, I'll take in order to explain working. I'll take uh, just simple int equal to a. Okay, so int a comma b integers. Oh, sorry, int a equal to some value. I'm going to take. Let's take a ten. So ten. No, I'll take it to two. Okay. Next. So if you want to, it is if you take ten means it taken as an a decimal number. If you want to give an extra decimal, just give the zero x of ten. I'll give. It's easy for you. So next it is int ten. Okay. B. Equal zero x of for extra decimal values are given for this one two. Okay, next it is I'll take one int c. Okay, next it is yes I'll write c is equal to a plus b. So now to see my output I'm going to write this one. Okay, next after just type the body of the program. Next it is save. We'll target. Zero errors. One is left out. Next, you go to debug. Okay. Okay. So normal process only. Just go to debug. Over. Next, it is step in. So you just go there. See now you can see int a is equal to ten plus my a is loaded by ten. So now it's very very important. So I want to see this one whether your output it is not. So actually it is after addition ten plus twenty I'll get thirty. So now to see this one you need to get a watch window. So now to get this one, just go to view. So actually, it's initially you are not having watch window. You need to take watch. Let's go to watch. So you get one watch window. Just take this one, watch one. Click on take it out. Okay. Next you'll have a watch. Just any watch. Okay. Next it is expression set to you. What are the expression I can use? A, B, C. I'm going to use just double click here. Enter expression A and give enter. Next it is B. You enter. Next it is C. You enter. Let's see what are the values it is coming. See, almost type it is integer integer because I'm going to mention it is integer. If it ch change to short or something, it here also it becomes short. Okay. So once you give this value, let's run the program step by step. So first it is a loaded by distance. See because of ten. So here integer is thirty two bit. So that's why you see zero 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 four bytes of information already added. So last value is ten. Next it is twenty. Next it is okay. Next it is I need to addition. So you can see that is something relevant. So first see move s r one comma ten means what I'm doing ten it is loaded to a. So we are not going to write anything automatically. My system it will be taken as an assembly code. So after compilation process of my C programming in assembly window easily will get the assembly code. 
So first tenet is loaded to A. A means here no and hate is mentioned that. So automatically my system taken as per R1 resistor, R1 loaded to it is 10. Next, once you give it is 20 loaded to B means R2 resistor loaded value of 20. The second location you can see that. So next it is I need to add into C, not mention anything. So next it is C put A plus B. Let's see that. You can see 10 plus 20 easily. You can see that 30 it is coming. So 30, how it is coming? See, move, add, yes, R3, R1, comma R2. So this is the assembly language program. It is easily, you can see in your assembly window. So R1 plus R2, it will be added and stored in R3. Okay. So it is a program. This is this way we can see. And not only here, we can see that in your resistor window also. See, R1 value is 10, R2 value 20, R3 value is 30. So in this way, we can see that. So this is my C program. This is your compiled program in this assembly window. So easily you can see in the watch window as well as resistor window. So in this way, we can do the programs of whatever the C programs is there. So main difference it is some compilers, the program to program, the compiler will be deferred. So based on that one, you can choose. Okay. Thank you.